Hey everybody, Brandon Charleston here coming at you with another quick tutorial. So if you're a social media marketing agency or you work with influencers and you have a client who is looking to leverage influencers, I'm going to show you a quick solution and a quick workflow in order to find uh, influencers and basically reach out to them. So let's get started. So I'm in a platform called Clay and what Clay is is one of the best platforms out there to aggregate and organize data and put it together in order to do uh, hyper personalized outreach. And so with this, I did a simple search, um, which is basically searching Google. And what this does is it basically pulls in all the information of all the Instagram profiles, and then I'm able to populate and append the data in order to find their first name, their email address, their follower account, and then basically send them all an email uh, for outreach. And so in order to test this, what you wanna do is simply use the search operator, which I did right here. I just typed in site colon Instagram.com. And for this particular use case, I'm looking for influencers that are in Idaho and anybody that has an at gmail.com uh, posted on their profile. So this one, you can see I populated uh, 109,000 results. But what this does is this actually gives me each individual Instagram profile for anybody who has an at gmail.com uh, that is on Instagram, right? It's going to scan Instagram. So what you do is you go into Clay, and I've already done this workflow here, but all you got to do is just start a new workflow, and then you just go into start with a Google search, and then from there, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just essentially going to put in this prompt here, the query, site, colon, Instagram.com, I'm looking for Idaho or wherever the location is. Any sort of text that you're looking for could be mom, could be you know anything that you think uh, would be a relevant word uh, in their profiles. And then just for this use case, I put at gmail.com. You could try at Yahoo, anything like that where somebody has their Instagram, or excuse me, their email that's posted on there. And I like to leave these blank. But um, oh, another thing too is I've, I'll put United States uh, or English rather. Uh, just to make sure, you know, I'm getting uh, relevant uh, profiles here in the United States. And so from there, I'm just going to exit this since it's already populated. But this gave me 379 results. And then from there, I just went into here. And you can see for this example, I pulled up Miss Idaho, right? And so this is their link. And so this is obviously the uh, profile, um, profile URL here, which points directly to their profile. And then what I did was I just basically added that as a column. And then I added their snippet, which uh, is basically everything that's populated right on their Instagram profile. Then from here, I brought their title. And then what I used was Claude, uh, which is an AI model, very popular, uh, but one of the best out there. And all I did was I just prompted it to only output the email address from the input below, and then I took it from their snippet. So what that did was pulled out all the email addresses, nice and clean there uh, very simple and then what I did was I used Claygent which is an AI agent that Clay has developed and it's a very powerful use case here and so I did the prompt of using the input below output only the number of followers that the account has do not output anything else do not visit any other link other than the input below what I did in this uh, case was I saw that sometimes it'll find a like profiles or if it's very broad it'll give me some sort of uh, different uh, output and so this one worked and it was something that I tried and it gave me the results that I'm looking for so you could see follower count here and then this is the result so in some instances it was uh, not populating uh, that but basically this is a good start to show you know how many uh, followers that they have so that way you can vet out anybody who's not hitting that threshold uh, for what your particular influencer use case is right so then what I did was I uh, got their email address um, and I pulled that. So this is the uh, Claude response, just a little bit out of sequence here. And then uh, what I did was I used Claude to pull their email, or excuse me, their first name, uh, to really clean up their first name and to show me exactly what it is. But what I did was sometimes it says, um, you know, only if it's a common first name, just to try it out, just because sometimes it prompted me to say, you know, Idaho or something like that, it would, uh, you know, I'm not going to send an email that says, hello, Idaho, you know, so I tried to pull as much regular first names as possible. And if it was not a name, I just had it output no name. And then from here, I drafted up a body, an email body using uh, this 
action right here, which is draft email. Very powerful tool. Uh, draft up a body. And then what I did is simply use an HTTP API, but there's uh, email verifiers out there. But this particular one, I am using a bouncer just to verify the email and make sure that all of them are deliverable, right? And so with that, I did the deliverables. And then what I did was just add them to a sequence in instantly for this case. Um, and then I made sure uh, with what you call a conditional format to make sure it is only adding to a campaign if the email address is deliverable. And with that, I was able to send out tons of emails all at once uh, to all the influencers to see if they're open to collaboration uh, with my client. And that was done. So this is a good uh, case to where you can easily find Instagram influencers, reach out to them and uh, get some business going. So thanks for watching. Reach out if you have any questions and uh, thanks and happy clay making.